right, so this picture is of the Mars Climate Orbiter, which slammed into the planet Mars in 1999 when it attempted to uh, enter orbit around Mars. And it actually, upon investigation, it turned out that the problem was that the software package um, that handled its navigation dealt with force in the unit called Newtons, and the ground crew was using um, the pound force unit, which is an, uh, that's an imperial unit. So different unit systems. So hence there's a miscommunication, and the, and the thing crashed. So um, it's important to use the same unit system. Um, and dimensional analysis is a way of converting a rate in one unit system into another. Um, so that is one very practical application. Um, and I'll show you an example of that here. Um, we'll, we'll convert 7,000 miles per hour into, um, so that's a rate, um, 7,000 miles per one hour. And then we'll, well, we'll talk about that in terms of kilometers per second, you know, a different unit system. And then we'll look at a different example, which goes a little bit farther and uses dimensional analysis to kind of see things from a different perspective. So hopefully this will be fun. Um, let's well, let's just go ahead and jump into it. Um, so this le lesson assumes that you you're familiar with the method of dimensional analysis, how to actually do it. So I'll kind of explain that as I go along, but not in too too much detail. Um, so if you need to refresh that, go ahead and refresh that. Um, so an experimental plane travels at 7,000 miles per hour. How fast is that in kilometers per second? So we just want to um, take something in one unit system, um, the the customary system, um, for example, miles per hour, um, and then convert it into um, the metric system here with kilometers uh, instead of instead of miles. Then we'll we'll look at a different unit of time too. Instead of hours, we want to look at seconds. Um, so let's just write our rate as it is. Um, Seven thousand miles. And then I'm going to write um, 7,000 miles per one hour. I'm just going to kind of write it out explicitly like that. Um, so 7,000 miles per hour. Okay, so we want to convert it into kilometers per second. So this, th these miles need to become kilometers, and these hours need to become seconds. So let's let's deal with the the hours um, first. Um, so there are 60 minutes per hour, and uh, I'm going to put the hour on top here so that hour and hour cancel out because we want um, we don't want hours to be there in the end. 60 minutes. Sorry, that sort of says minutes. Okay, and then there are um, oops. For every minute, there are oh man, the M's M's are difficult with this drawing program. Um, for every minute, there are um, sixty seconds. So when I go through and do that multiplication, minutes will cancel out with minutes, um, hours will cancel out with hours, and we'll be left with seconds. So that's good. So these two. Um, conversion factors will handle the the hours um, and then we need to convert miles so um, we've got so we want to put miles down here because we want miles and miles to cancel out uh, and then I put this here just to remind me because I don't have this memorized um, one mile is equivalent to 1.609 kilometers. If you don't know the conversion rate that you need in order to do the dimensional analysis, then then look it up. You know, you don't have to have all these things memorized. Um, you know, the hours, minutes, seconds, things, we use that so much um, in common life that, you know, it's just there. But if you have to look up stuff like this, no problem. Um, okay, so let's just check. So um, miles We'll cancel out with miles. Um, hours, we'll cancel out with hours. Minutes, with minutes. And all that we'll have left is kilometers per second. 
So we just uh, do the, you know, now we're just multiplying fractions, right? So we multiply all the numerators. So 7,000 times 1 times 1 times 1.609. Where's my calculator? Uh, 7,000 times 1.609. Is eleven thousand two hundred sixty-three kilometers, um, and then we multiply the bottom. So one times sixty times sixty, that be thirty-six hundred um, seconds. Now let's let's go ahead and just uh, yeah, we have, need to convert this to its unit rate. So kilometers per second per one second, not. 3,600 seconds. So we just divide the top by the bottom. Or in other words, divide both the numerator and the denominator by 3,600. Um, so divide by 3,600. It's 3. Uh, let's round it to 1, 3. 3.13 kilometers per second. Um, so this experimental plane that can travel 7,000 miles per hour, that's, uh, that's equivalent to 3.13 uh, kilometers per second. So every second, it flies over 3 kilometers. That's pretty fast. Yeah. OK. Now I want to do a little bit more of an elaborate and slightly stranger example to show how a dimensional analysis can be a way of, of seeing things from a different perspective. Um, so let's go back in time and pretend that the sun revolves around the earth. Uh, okay, we now know that the earth orbits the sun, but it looks like the sun revolves around the earth, right? Um, uh, because the earth rotates. So if we assume that the sun, so okay, so let me just kind of, all right, here's the earth. And then we're gonna assume that the sun is traveling around it. Okay? In a in a circle like that. If we assume that the sun is a constant 93 million miles away from us, you know, it, that's that is the average distance of the earth from the sun. It's 93 million miles. So we're going to assume that this is 93 uh million miles. And then it passes straight overhead just to um simplify the problem. Um, how fast would it seem to be traveling in kilometers per second, you know, overhead? If we're watching, if, you know, imagine it's like this rocket plane and it's just zooming around the Earth. Um, given this information, how fast would it seem to be traveling around us? Um, and I just, I, I'm, I'm curious about that. Um, and we can use dimensional analysis to, to, to do that. So, um, so let's, uh, let's look at this. So what do we know? So, um, the sun would do one orbit around us per day. Um, so we could say, let's, let's not do purple. Uh, one orbit around us per day. Okay. Um, now, okay. So we need to convert this orbit thing into kilometers, and we need to convert days into seconds. All right. So how are we going to do that? Well, let's let's do days into seconds first. Um, so that's just easy. Um, so there's so for one day there are 24 hours, and for one hour there are 60 minutes. And for one minute, there are 60 seconds. So that'll handle the, the days part, converting days into seconds. Um, the hours will cancel out the hours, days with days, minutes with minutes, and we'll just be left with seconds. Now we need to convert, what does it mean for, for it to do one orbit? How can we translate that into kilometers? Um, OK, well, you know, this is, this is a big circle, right? Um, so uh, we can imagine, okay, well, what's the circumference 
of this circle? Well, if it's a constant 93 million miles away from us, then the circumference, so that we can just pretend this is a circle, the circumference is 2 pi times the radius. The radius would be 93 million miles. Um, so the circumference would be um, 2 pi times 93 um, million miles. So let us do, so that was, so uh, one orbit would be equivalent to, um, so let's do that. So, the, so we're taking 93 million miles times 2 times pi, uh, because the circumference of a circle is 2 pi times the radius, and the radius in this case would be 93 million miles. Um, so 584.3, let's round it to um, million miles. So uh, this will be a um, million miles. I don't want to write out all the zeros for million. Okay. Um, I guess I could say times 10 to the 6. Um, but let's just, okay, I'm going to say for the sake of simplicity, this this is a million miles. Okay. So now we just need to convert that into um, kilometers. So for every one mile, there are one point. 609 kilometers. All right, so that'll uh, that'll convert that into kilometers, uh, into million uh, millions of kilometers. Um, so let's just remind rem remember that. Okay. All right. So uh, let's see. So days should cancel with days. Um, orbit with orbit. Um, hours with hours. Minutes with minutes. We're left with seconds. And then the miles will cancel with miles. So all we'll have left is seconds and kilometers, which is what we want, kilometers per second. Um, all right, so let's just multiply across the top. 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 um, times 584.3 times 1.609. So let's do that one. Um, have it left up here from the last one. So 1.609 is 940. Let's just say 940.2, um, let's say, would be the top. 940.2 million kilometers. So I'm going to say times 10 to the 6 kilometers. OK, that's the top. Uh, the bottom would be 24 times 60 times 60. Are you finding this interesting? I'm finding this very interesting for some reason. Um, 86,400 seconds. All right. Now we, uh, we need to get this into its unit rate. So just over, you know, some number of kilometers over one second. Um, so let's just divide the top by the bottom, so we do 940.2, um, and then um, let's see. Sorry, I'm gonna do times 10, 10 to the six. Um, 940.2 times 10 to the six. Yeah. Um, divided by 864. Oh, oh. So um, that would be 108,819, 108,819 kilometers per second. So if the sun, or okay, if, you know, given that we know that the sun is 93 million miles away from us on average, and assuming that it travels over us, um, you know, completely o straight overhead in a circle, which is what it seems like and what people thought for a while. Um, well, it would seem to be traveling at 108,819 kilometers per second. That's very fast. All right, so that's dimensional analysis for you.
converting from one unit system into another. Um, it can be useful for just getting you on the same page. Um, you know, maybe you just need to deal with kilometers per second. You know, the international system of units. Uh, or maybe you want to just see, like, you know, starting with one thing, what does this really mean? Let's put it. Let's express it in different terms so we can see what it means. All right, that's it. Good job. Um, hopefully, I don't know. I found that interesting. I hope you did too. All right, take care.